Quetta, a city in southwest Pakistan, is home to tens of thousands of Afghan refugees. Many are undocumented. In this enclave, inhabited by the Hazara, the Afghan Shia minority, terror has been the order of the day since the 1st of November, when the government announced large-scale operations across the country to deport illegal Afghan immigrants. Esam Uddin is an enforcement officer in charge of police operations in this district. The agent scans each piece of ID and checks its expiry date on a phone connected to the civil registry. Not valid. <laughs> Nearly 2 million Afghans in Pakistan are undocumented. Another 1.4 million are legal immigrants. Pakistan has been welcoming its Afghan neighbors for over 40 years. After years of tolerance, authorities have now decided to crack down. Ali Muradi has no choice but to follow the police to the detention center, where his papers will be checked again. Dozens of families are being detained at the same time as him. Some have lived in Pakistan for decades. Terror has taken hold in Afghan neighborhoods. The police are uncompromising and carry out random raids. Forty-nine detention centers like this one have been set up nationwide in recent weeks. Their aim is to facilitate the rapid mass deportation 
of undocumented Afghan refugees. This is where we find the Afghans arrested earlier in the day in Quetta. The assistant commissioner is in charge here. Nearly 600,000 Afghans took refuge in Pakistan after the Taliban seized power in Afghanistan in August 2021. Among them are feminist activists like this woman. She is speaking to us anonymously for security reasons. Undocumented, she fears deportation. This woman did not stop fighting after fleeing Afghanistan. She remains in daily contact with her activist friends who have stayed behind. There is a systematic repression of human rights activists under the Taliban regime. Under their rule, Afghanistan has become the only country in the world where girls and women are not allowed to continue studying after secondary school. Restrictions for women have increased. In Pakistan, undocumented Afghans have never had legal access to employment or education. But they did enjoy a degree of security. That vanished on the 1st of November. And also in Pakistan is a deportation, Afghanistan is dead for me. In this time, I don't know what should we do. I uh, get catch by the Taliban to kill me. I know this because I'm the protesting against the Taliban on Twitter and TV channel. I just I may stay at home, and also I have a four-year son. Sometimes my son say, "Mom, you come to go to some park and somewhere," but I say, "No, no, dears, police, dears, police." This is like a prison, like this, just one room. Sometimes I'm very sad and uh, I become very hungry about this. Then just I crying, I crying that what should we do and where we should go. Pakistan cites security reasons as justification for deporting undocumented Afghans. According to Pakistani authorities, several terrorist attacks that have hit the country since the beginning of the year have been carried out by Afghans linked to the TTP, the Pakistani Taliban who have fled to Afghanistan. Afghans in Pakistan have become scapegoats. In Karachi, in the south of the country, arrests seem to be arbitrary. Samar Abbas is a pro bono lawyer. Every afternoon he waits for police cars loaded with arrested Afghans. 
वो तुम्हारे अब्बा वगैरह कहाँ हैं उनको फोन किया उनको बताया तुम यहाँ पर हो उनको बताया तुम्हें पुलिस ने उठाया है कहाँ से उठा कोई है कोई घर में है कोई कौन है बड़ा है घर में कौन है बड़ा बेटा बताया उनको The lawyer cannot do anything other than gather testimonies from every person arrested. Every day, families come here to ask the lawyer for help, like this Pakistani man who doesn't understand why his son was caught up in a raid. इसमें हम किसी एक को जो है वो स्पेसिफिक करने के बाद हम उनको निशाना बनाए तो मेरे ख्याल से ये बहुत एक 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 बुरी बात है जो नहीं होना चाहिए फिर लोग जैसे समझते हैं कि अफवानी जो है वो स्ट्रीट क्राइम में मुलविस हैं वो दे, वो दहशत गर्दी के वाकयात में मुलविस हैं वो वॉल्टरी तौर पे यहाँ पे आते हैं और जो है यहाँ पे लोगों की कंप्लेन सुनते हैं उसको रिपोर्ट करते हैं उनको सोशल मीडिया पर लगाते हैं और उनको हल करने की कोशिश करते हैं समा अब्बास नोज ही इज़ पावरलेस एज देर इज़ ऑलमोस्ट नो लीगल रिकॉर्स फॉर अनडॉक्यूमेंटेड एफगैंस Tonight in Quetta hundreds of them will be forcibly returned to Afghanistan taken to the Chaman border post just a few hours after being arrested and face a very uncertain future under the Taliban regime